So I'm putting in a tub surround. I forgot to start the camera. It's really hard to record stuff when you're trying to work on things, but um, it's these five piece cheapy Charlie. Basically, it's just gonna keep the drywall from getting wet. Um, I did notice on this of what you're supposed to install it over. You're not supposed to install it over hardy board or any other kind of thing. Um, anyhow, I've read the directions, but it seems like it's, they make it make way more complicated than possible. All I did, if you take and you place the corners here, mark the edge, both sides. Then come in here, and this should be a half an inch. There's quite a lot. There's like an, there's like an inch lip there. So half, three quarters of an inch bigger. When you put that up, don't mark the whole length. Put little spots. Then measure so it goes behind it a half an inch more on both sides. Mark that a full line so you don't get confused. Measure that, cut it, glue it on there. This is ready to glue on. Oh, the glue, by the way, I use, I get this uh, Loctite Power Grab tub, sur tub Surround, okay? It's water-based, um, make sure you get it pretty close to where it goes because I stuck that on there and I didn't have exactly where I wanted it. It was hard to move. It's not like contact cement. You could, I could have pulled it back when I'm by myself. So I just pushed the bottom where it needed to be. So this is how you go. You mark the center of the tub, center of the panel. Cut it, put a center line back there. There's a film on this too. Make sure you get the right side out. Um, you can pull the film off afterwards. I just did this. Um, I didn't want to have this to glue to over the film. I have to make I have to seal this joint. Um, center line to center line, top and bottom, so you don't have it all cattywampus. Don't worry about it getting real tight down there. Now I also did keep my drywall up, so in case some water did seep in there, you can see over there it's about a half an inch. If water did seep in there, it wouldn't come in contact. That's a little bit tighter, but anyhow, set that in there. Mark this edge. And take one, you can see, so it's just kind of, then I made it bigger, so it goes behind this lip. Flush the front of the tub, it says within an eighth. Just make it flush, it's easier. Measure this, glue it on there. This one, last one, where the plumbing is. You might, if you're not really sure about your measurements, make a template, okay? Remember, you're not measuring from the corner. You're measuring from... You're measuring from the line that you put here to the center, to the center. I always, I, one of the common things I hear when people buy a house is that the shower head is way too low for tall people. I don't put it in the tub surround. I put it above. As long as you can reach it to clean it, that's all you need. And if you need to get stuck on the edge of the tub to clean it, I don't know why people put them down so short. So that's really what I'm doing here. It's not really crazy interesting, but you know, that's what it is anyhow. So I'm going to glue this up, stick this on there. I'm going to cut this one out. I can show you what I do to cut this, double check it, triple check it. I mean, cut a hole in the wrong place, you're pretty well done. So this was, I don't know, it was like 120 bucks at Lowe's. It wasn't expensive. It's not, all they're still doing is shielding water. So that's what we got going on. The other thing is when you cut this, make sure your cut edge is going behind that corner piece because it's not a really nice cut. I may use a drywall utility knife. Um, you can see I have my marks here so I know which I just cut. Putting that so it's going to be covered so the factory edge is out. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but there's two, there's a film on one side. Yeah, I already did. Okay. Make sure you're not putting the glue on that side. Not rocket science. Okay, so it says three tubes. So 
I may be putting on more than I said because that's my first two. When I got the back up, with the three backs plus the sides. So, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to put these two sides on. I'm going to go to town and get some drywall. I'll probably pick up another, another two. We did got the tube, but um, I would say I want to. So, put it in the middle, get it sticks really well. This is a, this trowel is probably a little bit bigger than, I don't know, I got like half a tube there, so. It really was supposed to be a little bit different than this. These are all notches, it had a notch and a space on them, couldn't get one. So, there you go, yeah, you see what you get. The cut edge, I see my marks where I measured it. I'm gonna go a little easier this time, getting that lined up. There's my mark. Go up, get that up off the tub because we don't want to put a bubble in it I'm on my other line. piece of tape, stick it on the corner, well, I almost started it, I'm going to make a liar out of it now, oh that's good, that was back a little bit there, so, I'm going to pull that right off, off with your marks and everything, it's good, let's get ready, that in. And that's time to probably take them seams right up. So it stays nice and flat. And then a little silk on these edges. Actually, they said to use latex caulking, which was a little bit odd, but you know, whatever. It's waterproof. That's the whole idea. So that's really about it. I can show you the finished product and we're done. Alright, so I have my last piece. Might have the next piece, but right? not my last piece. Hey, make sure too when you put these in, put the grooves on the shelf are down. <laughs> yep. I didn't do that. I'm just saying. Make sure. Okay, I glued the back of oh I'm gonna show you that. I glued these sections, right? Again, I'm not going crazy with the glue, but 
tape too. If you really would want something a little wider than this. But again, it's gonna stay there. I'm just gonna tape these joints up so I don't waste all the tape. Later on, I'm gonna take this off, each side of that joint, put the caulking in there, pull the tape off so it's a nice straight pull on each side, leave just a little tiny seam there. And it'll make a nice clean seam. So there we go. That's one that I already put. I have to do the pipe plumbing one next, so we'll see how we get back to you on it. I didn't, I forgot to record this again, I drilled my holes. I used a cup saw, which can be a little dicey. Make sure there's something behind it for the pilot bit to go through so it doesn't scratch all over the place. But anyhow, I measured it out. I measured it a couple times. I measured off the line. The line here to here, not the corner. Corner doesn't do any good. The edge of your sheet goes to there. Of course, I'm going to dry fit it before I put the glue on it but that's it I'm gonna set the other corner in place like that let it set just pushing these still nice feels good nice and solid and uh, voila so I'm um, here I got it in and as you can see back this out it's a bathroom it's kind of hard to get in there you know I have taped up everything that was the corner ones that's really you know they're not made perfect I guess we could say that but anyhow I get this all done clean it up I didn't peel the the uh, coating off of this one these corners yet I just got them all taped up I'm gonna let it set for a day two a couple days whatever I got plenty of other things to do so that's the long and the short of it, putting it in. Oh, as you can see, they fit. Shower heads, good eight inches. I actually like to have it when I'm putting in a one piece tub wide enough so my taping knife will go underneath the pipe. Because sometimes I put that in so I can tape around it. So that's about it. So installing tub surround.